guys welcome back to my channel today I'm sharing something a little bit different I have really good news we are expecting a baby <laughs> so of course this is a whole new adventure for us especially since you know we just well I just got here about six months ago um, so I figured it would be interesting and probably an informative uh, video if I share some information about my first trimester with you guys especially if you are pregnant yourself you find yourself here in Korea uh, particularly in Daegu because that's where I am so I'm going to be sharing my experience in my first of my first trimester here in Daegu okay so when I first took the pregnancy test of course it was in Korean we went right to like the GS Mart um bought a little thing i thought it was called uh, i think it's called uh hello baby or something and because it was in korean we really didn't understand like, we didn't know okay one line pregnant two lines pregnant we didn't know so we used like our google translator thing and just hoovered it over um the test and it told us what uh each line meant and we realized we were pregnant after that, we went to the doctor so that she can just confirm what we had found out, and she did. I will put the information to the doctor in the description box below because she was really good. Most people here in Daegu, when it comes to GYNs, they recommend um, some other place, some woman's hospital or whatever, but I didn't like that place at all. I did not have a good experience with it. Um, so I did some more research and I found this lady. She's really close to the subway, just super convenient, sweet lady, perfect bedside manners. Uh, so all of that was agreeable to me. So because I had seen her prior for just a regular routine checkup, I felt comfortable going back to her and having her confirm this pregnancy and giving me information on the next steps. So when we went to the doctor's office, the appointment was really fast really clean place staff was really lovely they didn't speak much english but the doctor did so we didn't have any issues when it came to communicating um the situation and just her explaining things to us the whole appointment probably cost about um 120 dollars out of pocket which i didn't think that was bad especially considering she gave me some prenatal pills and it's actually quite a bit of pills i thought i would only be getting a one month supply but I have a bit more than that. So this is what it comes like, comes in. It's called um, Dr. First Mom. And when you open it, you know, you have some sleeves. And then your pills are inside. Now I have about, there's about, let me see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's about 10 pills in each sleeve and in each box you get about 10 um, sleeves so you get quite a bit of um, pills and you get two boxes so I felt like that was a really good deal for the ap appointment and for my prenatal pills for them for it only to be $120 out of pocket I didn't think that was bad of course everything is in Korean but there's some things you're able to uh, figure out um, what's you know the ingredients vitamin b1 b2 b6 b12 um biotin and a few like other things that once reading it um, i was able to understand but in explaining some things to us there's one thing she did tell us um, was that we couldn't leave korea and um the thing is my husband's contract is up in um at the end of february and so that's when we were going to leave to head back home. But when she realized this, she said that uh, we, it wouldn't be a good idea to leave because traveling in the first trimester is like just not a wise thing to do because it's too risky. And, you know, this is our first child together. This is our first child. We didn't know that. I thought it was maybe the last two months um, of when you're pregnant that you can't travel. I had no idea that it was the first three months as well so you know I guess as of right now being that we just left the doctor's office we are like staying because we don't want to risk anything possibly going wrong 
um, with this pregnancy during the first trimester. And so we would just rather be on the safe side and not have anything go wrong. So right now, that's our dilemma, not the baby, but um, just the fact that we have to stay here another year. He was super ready to leave. Um, me, I was just kind of like, you know, like go with the flow. Um, I work from home, so it really doesn't matter to me where I am just as long as I'm getting an adventure and I don't feel stuck wherever I am. And that's what it's looking like right now. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. Stay tuned and thank you for watching. Bye.